No has sons and water. So I was hearing the entire time I was showering that you are a force to be reckoned with. I feel like you're claiming your power. Mm -mm -mm. I love this energy. You're claiming your power and you're not allowing anyone to step on your motherfucking toes anymore. Any more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stuck. So I feel like someone's stuck on you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone's stuck. If it's up, if it's up, if it's up, then it's stuck. Ooh. Someone is daydreaming, fantasizing, thinking about you. And I feel like it's because you've been thinking about yourself a lot. You've been putting self first and... I feel like someone's loving how confident you are, how you just own the room, how you light up a motherfucking room. So let's tap in and see what's been going on. What's been going on? Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> what's the message? The supreme. That's exactly who the fuck you are. The supreme being. And you're knowing that. This is that pure knowledge of self. And I feel like having that control of self is guiding you to where you need to be. Somebody could be getting a new car as well, I'm hearing. Somebody's getting a complete upgrade. I'm seeing DNA upgrades as well. A lot of downloads coming through, a lot of light codes. I feel like you're getting a lot of ideas right now. I thought it was kind of crazy how during this Pisces season, during this Pisces season, ooh, look at that, defending your beliefs. And it also, like, it's reminding me of that Ace of Wands card that just came up. It's like you could be really protective right now over a divine masculine energy that's around you i feel like you could also be hiding him from the public kind of keeping things to yourself also keeping your ideas and goals to yourself whatever you've been enthusiastic about like even you you know tapping into your confidence people are wondering well, like damn why she's singing why she's so happy why he's so happy what's going on who got her singing who got her smiling and you're just keeping it to yourself right now. And that's a fucking great idea. That's a great idea. And I feel like it's taking a lot of willpower right now to keep this to yourself. Because I feel like it's such a beautiful idea. I feel like it's something that you will it's making your heart sing. And it's so hard to not tell anyone what's been going on. <sighs> but I do feel like with that energy of you're a force to be reckoned with. I feel like there's people up in your business right that's that energy people up in your business you feeling like you have to guard whatever this is and protect whatever this is the hanged man the hanged man yeah i definitely feel like there was or there is someone around you, someone that may be grieving your absence. I feel like they're trying to tap in. They're trying to find out what the fuck you got going on. I feel like they're trying to find out where your attention went now that it's not on them. Daughter of Swords. So I feel like this person, you know, they could have, this could be someone that was very malicious, I'm hearing. Like, I feel like they would take the clothes off your back. They could have took everything from you and left you empty handed. And I feel like, you know, it, it, you came a long way to build yourself back up, to build up your finances as well, to build up your strength. And that's why you're being very protective right now. Yeah, look at that. Moving towards calmer waters, moving on, moving past things. It's like you're fully letting someone go. And I feel like you're in your knowing. Like you don't need any of that shit that they gave to you. 
Like, I feel like they're even saying without all of this, you know, you have all of this because of me. If you didn't have any of this, you'd be nothing. And I feel like you allow them to strip all of those layers off of you because I feel like it was holding you back. It, you know, this could be someone that kept you codependent, I'm hearing. And I feel like, you know, whatever they took from you is a good fucking thing because it created space for this new love to come in. It created space for you to move towards this new level. Like I'm even seeing, like when I saw that six of swords, somebody had to pack light because I feel like they had too much weight on them. Like I'm seeing like when somebody goes, you know, on an airplane and they have to weigh their luggage and shit. I'm seeing like the divines weighed your luggage and someone didn't have the money, but we could say that's energy. Somebody had the, didn't have the energy to afford to bring that shit with them into this new level that you're stepping into, this new connection as well. So whatever they took, I'm hearing they took the fucking trash out. So with the Seven of Cups under here, I'm feeling the vibes of this person trying to come back around, trying to create some sort of illusion for you to not move on, for you to stay stuck in the past. I feel like this person judges you a lot based on your past as well. But they're sad, they're heartbroken that you're moving on. They're sad that they didn't give you what you deserve. Yes, new beginning. You're moving on. You're moving past things. You're getting a fresh, brand new start. I feel like somebody's even changing up their hair a lot lately. You could have recently gotten braids. Or maybe you're being called to braid your hair. I'm, he I'm hearing for protection. Braiding your hair is also a form of protection. I'm seeing when you're braiding your hair, make sure you're braiding your hair and putting intentions into this braid what are you wanting to weave into your existence and it's this lover it's this lover someone's taking a leap of faith to go all in on this connection or being called to just being called to remain hopeful regardless of what you where you came from because you're getting a fresh clean slate yeah block off all that bullshit from the past because that's no longer who you are I feel like someone's still in the vibes of recreating themselves. I'm seeing someone braid their hair and take it all out, making their hair into an afro. Why is that relevant, spirit? <laughs> Hermit, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hold up. So the Hermit card went off the table. And I said, why is that? So I feel like someone could be really indecisive. I'm seeing like even down to their hair. And that could be, you know, relevant when it comes to choosing a partner or choosing what you want to do, where you want to go. But the hermit fell on this star stamp. Someone's getting a stamp. Someone's getting stamped a seal of approval to be a star, a seal of approval to shine, to remain hopeful, to allow your wishes to come in. Somebody wished for this, and then when it comes in, they kind of block it off, and I feel like it's because someone around them may be kind of getting in their head, trying to get them to focus on the past, but that was interesting that it fell on this stamp because... Some of my cards got wet and 
it fucked it a little up but i was feeling like it was like a stain and then it <clears throat> and then it reminded me of a stamp and then i'm see seeing that seal of approval again somebody's getting stamped and then this cards were crown chakra alpha and omega tarot oracle connected and protected share your story wish upon a star so I feel like somebody's getting a stamp of approval from the divines. I feel like this person as well that you're moving towards, that's moving towards you, is getting the stamp of, of approval. I feel like you guys are really connected through the sh crown chakra. Yeah, connected and protected. I'm protected and you're very protective over this person. I feel like they're protective over you. And look at that. Share your story. It's like someone's really protective about their story about their wishes that they're making and i feel like it's a good idea i feel like it's a good idea in this time so alpha and omega first and the last i feel like you guys have a really ancient connection both of you could be really into tarot and oracle and i feel like you know that opened that opened this portal for your wishes to come come true it opened up a channel for it to come through because i feel like the tarot may have helped you realize what is for you and what isn't or even helped you to know when to tap into your own intuition and trust your gut so let's just get a few from here talking about you're a force to be reckoned with kundalini rising Showtime. Blue eyes. So you're going through this heavy kundalini rising right now. And it's showtime. I feel like this blue eye energy is giving me the vibes of you're going to be coming into contact with this person. And I feel like your guys' eye contact is going to be so strong. I feel like there, there's not even going to be a need for words. I feel like this connection here is more than words. And it's all in the eyes. I feel like their eyes will tell you exactly what you need to hear. Because I feel like in the past, a lot of people told you things and did all the right things, but the energy didn't match. And I feel like you're just going to know like this person has nothing to prove because you're going to be in your knowing. We keep coming on this card, so I'm going to bring it out. That throne is being overthrown. I feel like you could be getting that job position you always wanted, or this could be for your person, like whoever you thought your person was or was going to be, you know, they're being overthrown. I'm seeing even within your soul tribe, you know, um, exactly the, the trash took itself out, right? So there could be room. So now there's room on that throne. And I feel like it's not only for you, but it's for your people. You're highly favored. No weapon formed against I. So I feel like there's a lot of desperate people around you that, you know, maybe working nine to five jobs and you could be an entrepreneur, and I feel like this person is like desperate for your attention, desperately in need of trying to take you down because we have narc and rat here. Yeah, so that's why it's all about keeping this shit to yourself because someone's trying to tell. Someone's trying to say some shit. Like what the fuck would they say, you know? Abuse. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. So they may fucking be saying shit like you're abusive, you're physically abusive, um, verbally, mentally. And we have ancestral trauma. I feel like this person carries a lot of ancestral trauma that they haven't healed from. And I feel like they could be jealous because you're getting a new car. You're also going through these DNA upgrades. 
stepping into your new vessel. You've been maintaining your garden. You've been breathing more, coloring outside the motherfucking lines, taking care of body, clearing out all of that stagnation, doing the inner child healing, stepping into union with your soul tribe. We got Sagittarius and Jupiter. That could be you, but you're going through the, or your person, you're going through this personal expansion right now you're very inspirational very optimistic so i'm hearing new levels new devils like it doesn't really matter i feel like that's why someone's trying to come back and bring up some shit from your past you know to try and keep you stuck like whatever the fuck that is for but i don't feel it's gonna work three of pentacles and wheel of fortune it's not gonna work the tables are turning I feel like there's going to be a lot of people turning on each other. People that were going against you. They're going to be going against each other now. Spirit's going to distract them from coming towards you. Okay, let's go to angels and ancestors and close this off. Oh boy. <clears throat> Arrow, surround yourself. Okay, so this came up in reverse off the table though. Surround yourself with protective energy. I feel like you are surrounding yourself with protective energy. You're being very protective about whatever's going on in your life. And that is a beautiful thing. So it's like, you know, being around negative energy is off the fucking table. Wow, drum, dream and journey. That looks just like the other card. It came in reverse, so I feel like... It's time to start dreaming again. It's start to it's time to start going on adventures so you create an open channel for your dreams, for your imagination. Somebody has to create space. Make time for these things I'm hearing. So trust and thrive in high priestess. Harness your mystic powers. I'm just going to read Stag briefly because I feel like this card has been coming up a lot. I've been seeing it a lot. So I feel like it definitely has a message for the collective. Let's see what's going on with the Stag. Okay, you really want me to go to the table of contents, huh? Yeah. Come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and glory with grace and majesty. The stag card brings graceful and powerful medicine into your life. In Celtic traditions, the stag with his crown of antlers is known as the king of the forest. And it's a totem that brings protection in challenging times. Oh my God, there's that protection energy again. In Native American traditions, he is greatly loved for stag and deer have provided food for people and materials that have allowed them to create medicine items such as drums, rattles, smudge fans. Although the stag has been hunted in the past and is still he has the strength, dignity, and poise. When this card arises, it can also represent fertility and sexuality. Maybe an opportunity to explore your sexual side with your spiritual integrity supporting you on that journey. You have an opportunity to thrive, trust in all that you have to offer, all your gifts, strength, and power, and make the most of it. You were born to lead and this can only become reality when you're willing to put yourself in that position stag energy allows you to feel safe because the antlers keep away anything that could interfere with your intelligence and presence and their strength give you gives you the power to be agile in your thinking you're being encouraged to retain your dignity and be proud of who you are and all that you've accomplished this, in turn, will give you even more power to thrive onward and upward. 
beautiful energy so that's the vibe it kind of it pretty much correlates with the message you know about that heavy protection energy all right i love you all aloha hit that like button